All right, so good afternoon, everyone. So today we are going to talk about one of the strategies in teaching literacy through literature, which is using graphic organizers learning. So before that, um, I request everyone to bow their head and feel the presence of the Lord. And we all say, in the name of the Father and of the Son of the and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those sins against us. And do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So once again, good afternoon, everyone. So today we are going to um, discuss about using graphic organizers learning which is one of the strategies in teaching literacy through literature. So without further ado, let's get started. Next slide, please. All right, so what is graphic organizers in literature? Graphic organizers in literature refers to a visual tools that are used to organize and analyze literary texts, such as charge, charts rather i'm sorry diagrams maps and timelines moreover a graphic organizer visually represents ideas concepts and relationship between various components concept maps and knowledge maps all 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 are types of graphic organizers you can use um, any chart or diagram as a graphic organizer to compare facts and the text story. And also um, a graphic organizer is a pedagogical tool. Yeah, so um, why do I say so? That is because um, it is a ped pedagogical tool to provide a visual aid to facilitate learning and instruction. Teacher often use these graphic organizers to illustrate complicated concepts to understand them while students use excellent means to organize their thoughts, especially in writing, reading on, uh, read, I'm sorry, read this article, yeah, especially in writing. And also, especially in literature, there are um, ideas that um, students cannot be able to comprehend directly. So teachers are going to use graphic organizers in order the students to be able to um, easily understand on what the phrase or the idea means. So, yes, yeah, so let's move on to the next slide, please. And I think the one who will go into discuss this is Mr. Brian Islani. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, so what are um, so these are the following are the main function of graphic organizers in the teaching of literature. The first one is organize ideas and information. Graphic organizers allow students to organize ideas and information in a visual way, which can help them to better understand and remember the content of the text. So the second one is analyze and synthesize information graphic organizers can help students to analyze and synthesize information by identifying important details patterns and relationships within a text so the third one the third one is um, make connections so in graphic organizers um it can also help students to make connections between different aspects of text, such as characters, themes, and symbols. Next slide, please. All right, so I think Mr. Istani will go into a further discuss about what are the main functions of graphic organizers in teaching literature.
All right, so the next topic is the what are the effects of using graphic organizer in understanding the text? So first is enhances comprehension. So graphic organizers help learners organize the information presented in the text into manageable chunks. This in turn helps them understand the text better. So enhancing comprehension is essential when organizing graphic organizers as it helps to clarify information and make it easier to understand. So graphic organizers are visual representations of concepts and ideas that help to organize and structure information. They are widely used in education, business, and personal life to help with critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making. By enhancing comprehension in gra organizing graphic organizers, individuals can improve their understanding of complex information. This is achieved by breaking down information into smaller, more manageable components that are easier to digest. This process also helps to identify relationships between different components of the information, making it easier to identify patterns and connections. In addition, enhancing comprehension also helps to improve memory retention. By organizing information in a logical and structured way, individuals are more likely to remember it over the long term this is particularly useful when studying for exams or preparing presentations so finally enhancing comprehension can help individuals to communicate more effectively with others by organizing information in a way that is easy to understand individuals can share their ideas and knowledge more clearly and so succinctly so this is particularly useful in a group settings or when communicating with people from different backgrounds or disciplines. Overall, enhancing comprehension is a crucial aspect of organizing graphic organizers as it helps individuals to better understand, remember, and communicate complex information. So the next is improves retention. When learners use graphic organizers to record key information from a text, they're more likely to remember and retain that information. So graphic organizers are visual tools used to organize and structure information in a way that makes it easier to understand and remember. Improving retention is one of the most important goals of using graphic organizers as it enables learners to better understand and recall the information they are studying. So there are several reasons why improving retention is important in organizing graphic organize, organizers. So first is enhances understanding. Graphic organizers help to break down complex information into smaller, more manageable pieces. Next is encourages active learning. Creating a graphic organizer requires learners to actively engage with the material. This hands-on approach to learning encourages active participation and promotes retention by allowing learners to take ownership of the information. So the third is improves recall. Graphic organizers help learners to remember key concepts and information by providing a visual cue that can be easily recalled. Next is the supports different learning styles. Graphic organizers can be used to support different learning styles, including visual, kinesthetic, and auditory learners. By presenting information in a variety of ways, learners are more likely to retain the information. So overall, improving retention is crucial when organizing graphic organizers. It enhances understanding, encourages active learning, improves recall, and supports different learning styles. By incorporating graphic organizers into the learning process, educators can help learners to better understand and retain the information they are studying. Next is the facilitates critical thinking. So graphic organizers help learners explore and analyze the relationships between different pieces of information in a text. This can lead to a deeper understanding of the text and the ideas it presents. So graphic organizers can be valuable tools for organizing and presenting information visually. They can also play an important role in facilitating critical thinking. 
So it helps identify relationship between ideas, meaning graphic organizers can help identify relationships between ideas and concepts, making it easier to analyze and evaluate information. And also it encourages deeper understanding. By organizing information in a visual format, graphic organizers can help individuals develop a deeper understanding of the material. This can promote critical thinking by encouraging individuals to ask questions, make connections, and explore different perspectives. And it also enhances problem-solving skills. So graphic organizers can help individuals to identify patterns and connections in information, which can be useful for problem-solving. This can promote also in critical thinking by encouraging individuals to identify problems, evaluate potential, and make informed decisions. So overall, the use of graphic organizers can be an effective way to promote critical thinking skills in individuals by organizing information visually and encouraging individuals to make connections and ask questions. Graphic organizers can help individuals develop a deeper understanding of the material and enhance their problem-solving skills. So next. Next slide. So next is the supports differentiation. Different learners have different learning styles. Graphic organizers provide a visual and tactile approach to organizing information, which can be particularly helpful for visual or kinesthetic learners. So supports differentiation is a crucial aspect of organizing a graphic organizer because it helps to ensure that the graphic organizer effectively meets the needs of all learners. Graphic organizers are visual tools that can be used to represent information and concepts in a way that makes them easier to understand and remember. However, different learners have different learning styles and abilities, which means that a one-size-fits-all approach to graphic organizers may not be effective. By incorporating supports differentiation into the organization of a graphic organizers, educators can tailor the tool to meet the specific needs of their learners. This might involve using different colors, fonts or styles to make the organizer more visually appealing or using different types of symbols or icons to represent information. And it support and the supports differentiation also in organizing a graphic organizer is essential for ensuring that the tool is accessible and effective for our learner for all learners, regardless of their learning style, ability, or background knowledge. So the last one is encourages active reading. Graphic organizers require learners to actively engage with the text, making connections and drawing conclusions. This can help learners stay focused and engaged with their material. So encouraging active learning when organizing a graphic organizer is important for several reasons. So first is it, engage, it engages learners. Active learning encourages learners to participate and engage with the material, which can improve retention and understanding of the content. Next is the reinforces understanding. When learners actively organize a graphic organizer, they are more likely to remember and retain the information they have learned as they are making connections and reinforcing their understanding of the material. The third one is develops critical thinking skills. Active learning encourages learners to analyze and interpret information, identify patterns, and draw conclusions. Organizing a graphic organizers involves these skills and can help learners develop their critical thinking abilities. The fourth one is the facilitates communication. When learners work together to organize a graphic organizer, they are able to discuss and share their ideas which can enhance communication and collaboration. And the last one is promotes creativity. Active learning allows learners to approach material in a creative way, which can enhance their interest and motivation to learn. So overall, encouraging active learning when organizing a graphic organizer can lead to a deeper understanding of the material, improve critical thinking skills, and enhance communication and collaboration among learners. So that would be all for my part. Next.
All right. To to summary at uh, to summarize I to summarize to summary it all. So introduce graphic organizers. Explain what graphic organizers are and how they can help readers better understand the text. Encourage students to practice using graphic organizers with familiar texts before applying them to uh, to more challenging literature. So introducing graphic organizers uh, are visual tools that help readers organize and understand information from text. They can come in many forms, including charts, tables, diagrams, and webs. Graphic organizers can be especially beneficial, uh, especially for students who may struggle with ready, reading comprehension or note-taking as they break down complex information into a more manageable format. Next, we have match or uh, graphic organizers to the text and learning objective. Tailor the organizers to the specific text and objective and choose organizers that will support deeper understanding of the text. So match graphic organizers to the text and learning objective. Effective use of graphic organizers depends on selecting the right tool for the task. Some graphic organizers are designed to help readers identify key ideas and details, while others focus on relationship between concepts or costs and effect relationships. So depending on the text and the learning objectives, a teacher can choose from a wide range of graphic organizers to support their students. Next, uh, demonstrate effective use of graphic organizers. Provide examples of how, how to use graphic organizers effectively and encourage students to... To ask questions and make connections graphic organizers. In here, teachers can model effective use of graphic organizers by walking through the process in a whole class setting or providing individual instruction. It's important to emphasize that graphic organizers aren't just for note taking because they should be used to prompt students to ask questions, make connections, and apply critical thinking skills to the material that they are stud studying. With the practice, uh, students can become more independent in choosing and using graphic organizers to deepen their understanding of the text. So in continuation, um, Ms. Clarice Gilogsam will explain. Okay, so to uh, continue the summary, here are some general strategies that educators could use. Use collaborative learning. Encourage students to work in small groups to complete graphic organizers. Discuss their process with their peers and share their insights. So as we all know, collaborative learning is a method of teaching and learning in which students team together to explore a significant question or create a meaningful project. Collaborative learning can develop the higher level thinking, oral communication, self-management, and leadership skills. Students can um, share strengths and also develop their weaker skills. They develop their interpersonal skills and they also deal, um, learn to deal with conflict. Next is monitor progress. Check students' progress, I'm sorry, check students' progress periodically. Offer feedback and support and adjust instruction if necessary to help the students achieve their learning objectives. Monitoring a student's progress through regular observation will help keep their literacy profile current and provide you with moment-to-moment -moment information about what they have mastered, what they are on the, on the way to mastering, and the particular prompts and scaffolds that best the student. Also, monitoring and documenting behavioral difficulties or incidents is also important. 
as students feel increasingly supported and grow more positive and independent in their learning. Challenging behaviors will often become less frequent and less acute. Overall, using graphic organizers can be effective understanding of literature and improve their literacy skills. Thank you. Uh, that would be all, and thank you so much for listening. Have a good day.